All right, thank you, Brett. Now, before we get to quarterfinal action in pro stock, let's take you back to round one. There is Terry Walters out of Roanoke, Virginia. And this was his first pass of eliminations going up against Steve Williford from Englehart, South Carolina. A very experienced driver on the I Trade Trail. Walters completely out of shape, got in the groove about the same one Roy Hill did a year ago, slams up against the guardrail, up on the top of the car, and skids to a halt as you see the liquid coolant pouring out of the radiator. Very reminiscent of Roy Hill's big crash here one year ago. Inside the car, Terry Walters moving around. Let's look one more time at it and see if we can establish exactly what happened to Terry Walters. The front end actually starts to come off the ground now. He'll overcorrect slightly, and that's the fatal mistake. The car gets out of hand. Remember, we're 180 miles an hour, 190 across the finish line. Now, as he gets sideways, the car's not engineered to go that direction. He turns over, actually gets airborne up in the air. He has no control of the car whatsoever. All he can do at this point is hang on and ride it out. Williford passed through unscathed. Body parts shed off of the car, losing energy as it grinds to a stop on its roof. But that roll cage remains intact. Terry Walters, a very lucky man. Here's Brett Kepner on the scene. What I pick all the dirt you all right? Yes, so far I am. You know, all the people that have cheered for you for so many years as the ultimate underdog in this class, back-to-back six eighties and qualifying that I think even surprised you. This thing went 696 at 182 on the roof. Yeah, it was uh, it was on a good pass, but right at the end, it just took off. And now, uh, now's a bad time to be scrapping my junk. How bad is this going to hurt the operation? Uh, I know it's only you know, a minute, but... For being an independent, this will wipe me out for this year. And that is bad news for Terry Walters. Ironically, he won that matchup.